Chris Del Santro with us here on the John Madola Show talking Scranton football. Uh, weight room to you, how important was that? I was very important last year. You know, I was a sophomore. I had the most weight up in the weight room, so I really took it seriously to get ready for this season. When you say the most weight, let's talk about what lifts that you, know, you enjoy. Some people are power uh, cleaners, some people are yeah. benchers, some people are squatters, Definitely. some people are deadlifters. So. Definitely uh, hand clean, power clean was like my... My best thing in squat, that was really impressive for me. I got uh, 405 last year as a sophomore, so that's a pretty big accomplishment for me. Did some people, they go in at 200 pounds, they get out 250 yeah. in the offseason. Did you feel like you, you wanted to put on weight, you wanted to tone up? What, what so, were yeah, some so of those goals? I, I did put on a, a couple pounds. I was 232 pounds, and I cut it back down to around 220 around that area just so I could get a little bit of my speed back and athleticism. Let's talk about positionally, you know, you're playing defensive end, tight end. So yeah. let's talk about, you know, do you like one side of the ball over the other? I definitely like offense better, but I like getting physical, so defense is more on my favorite side, but I do like offense. Let's talk about the, the weapons that you guys have this year and, yeah. you know, how you see your team, throwing team, running team, a little bit of balance. I think our uh, both is going to be amazing. Our running is definitely going to be good. You know, we got Reese Whitman in our backfield and Shamir definitely run the ball hard. Brody, our quarterback, is a good thrower. So we're going to be pretty good. How about the message from the coaches, you know, <clears throat> whether it's, hey, we got to stay with it. Hey, we got to work hard. Hey, show up. You know, he's feeling good about you guys. But yeah. talk about, you know, are you got you feel like the team's responding? Yeah, I think, yeah, we're putting in the work, you know, every day. Everyone's at practice, conditioning. You know, we go through everything together, and I think we're going to be a very strong team this season. It's a week-by-week -week schedule. you got a couple of Pocono Mountain teams on yeah. the schedule. They'll be new. But, you know, in general, you can never really look ahead. Um, but staying healthy is also always a challenge, especially when you're a big school because you're playing, you know, teams that have a lot of kids. But talk a little bit about, you know, focusing in on, okay, hey, we need to work hard. It's a week-by-week -week season. Yeah, definitely. You know, wake up every day. Make sure you're eating the right things. Uh, text in the huddle, everything. Make sure everyone's coming to practice. You know, we really got to be mentally prepared this season, ready to go. Junior year. Yep. So let's talk about the future for you. It's okay, hey, I'm doing this football thing, I'm doing track and field, mm -hmm. and in the future I'd like to go do this, be in the workforce or be in armed forces, go to college, play football, whatever that is. Definitely want to play football. Hopefully that's my main main thing I want to do, definitely. All right, and uh, who's who's in the family that's supporting you and uh, making sure everything's yeah, good? Mom and dad, sister, everyone, you know, they all come to my games. My dad's on me every day, mom's on me every day, uh, making sure I'm doing good in school and all that. All right, you sound focused. I wish you the best. Thank you.